I think one of the key things for me about Mary Queen Scots was to try to find a way to tell a story that's been told before in a fresh way. Obviously it's rooted in its period, it's a historical piece, but it has modernity in it. And that gave a wonderful opportunity from a musical standpoint to sort of return to, you know, Renaissance music, which I love, but then also bring it into a kind of contemporary uh, aesthetic. I think that the drumming was a very key motif. As soon as that drum plays at the start of the film, you know where it's going. Yeah. It has that inevitability. It was interesting actually finding those little clues in the musical language which could evoke a kind of periodness without themselves being a kind of a document from that time. I was so pleased with um, actually, you know, that whole first sequence on the beach and, you know, there's, there's this incredible uh, close-up of Sish on the horse. When I found the music for that, I basically was like, we're good here. Yeah. When something um, matches up so well, it sort of catches fire and it opens up millions of other possibilities immediately. And should you murder me, remember you murder your sister and you murder your queen.